Yeah. On auto rain. So it's on me yet? It still is? Hello? Okay, thank you. You did good. Okay, here we go. Hi. Hi. My name is Scott Von Holson. And you can see my art at scottvonholson.com or follow me on my blog at scottvonholson.org. Or links below. Okay, as you can see, I have terrible lighting. That's because I'm in my temporary studio. But earlier in the year, let's go back. I got contacted by the Intercultural and Company, and they in Japan, and they wanted two Bach artworks for a project. And I said, Yeah, okay, sounds cool. Yeah. Okay, but uh, there was delays and time went by and they didn't know exactly what they wanted for colors or the size, well, they finally decided and then they told me about it and then, uh, wow, we, in between time we had sold our house in my studio and that's why I am here in this temporary studio with bad lighting. So I said I couldn't do the project. I just thanked them. But, in the back of my mind, I had made some plans, and one of the plans for the project was I had, already had the canvas available. And here you see it. And I had enough to do the two artworks. So I said, you know what? I'm in my new temporary studio. It's small. I don't have the space. I can't do uh, construction. It's just... Let's do it on canvas. We'll do it on canvas. That'll be my style for now. And um, so... I cut the two pieces, like I said, and I, and I um, did these two artworks, similar artworks, two minuets. In fact, this is, uh, you're looking at the um, B minor one right here. And uh, I did it and started out in the colors that they would probably little like in Japan there because uh, I sold some stuff to them in the past. And um, I thought I had better do it in that scene because maybe they'd be interested if I could get them done. I'll send it to them. Maybe they'd be interested down the line. So I thought I would do it in the style that they might like the browns and golds and you know something. I don't know. I was just experimenting, and I did that and I got oh my god! It was uh, I was bored. It was just just boring. Blah blah like the past. And I you know and I said to me. I said, I thought, I didn't, I didn't, I thought deeply about it, and um, I came up with the idea that let's try the scratch technique. I have a scratch technique that I use where I have an under layer, a look, background layer of paint, different colors, mostly abstract colors, and then I put a different uh, layers, top surface layer, and then I take my finger or a palette knife and I scratch it off to get down to the bottom layer. And it works pretty good on, uh, as if you've been following my blog, you can see that on my blog, on wood and stretch canvas. And I didn't think, oh my god, I could I couldn't do it on unstretched canvas. Would it hold up? Or would it just fall off? I don't know how it was going to happen. And guess what? It didn't fall off. It was fine. It's fine now. This is weeks later. Wow, that was cool. So, I think, let's, let's do works on canvas. But how do I, um, how do I, how do I mount them? How do I display them? Well, I came up with this frame. Look at this. Look at it. It's a metal frame. Here, and you see the speakers. And here's the control box. The control box are modular control boxes. Here, I take one of these magnets off. It's a magnet, and you can see the how oh, there's the hanging thing. But put the magnet back on, holds it on really good. I can just take the magnets off and remove the artwork. And, and I said, wow, wow, that's cool. The whole thing is kind of modular. So, uh, so now I can do, I did the second one, which I will show you in a few minutes. Sitting, actually sitting right here. Here. I'll mount that on there. And, and, you, and, with, and here's the control box for that. Right here. See, there's the little amplifier. And um, play that music too. Let me play the music here for this one. Oh, this is uh, Bach in Minuet and B minor. Cool. 
like to say something about the uh, my technique. It's abstract, and I don't like abstractions. I like original abstraction. Uh, Kandinsky, you know, I like Pollock, you know, Rothko. But most abstractions, I just, uh, I don't like it. it's meaningless to me. So I'm not going to do an abstract unless it has a meaning that it, it, it brings something to the artwork. And this scratch technique, you can see in this one here, especially this is the second one I did, and uh, where it kind of imitates music. Music's up and down, here and there, all over, it's everywhere, you know, sound, woo, wow, moving. And even in my, uh, and then I simplified things I, with my beams and my slurs and my ties. I just did these strokes with a big thick brush, a little abstract on there, and, and, and it worked really good. It did, I didn't feel like, because I wasn't really sticking to the rules of, for the intercultural art and company, that I could just do the white thing and didn't have to match the notes and stuff like that. So. So I think it turned out pretty good. I kind of like it, and this is what we're going to be doing in the future, but I think we're going to, oh, I know, we're never going to stretch these. They're going to be on this type of things, and maybe different size frames, maybe not, but this is how we're going to do the future for now, as long as we're in my temporary studio. This is how we're going to do it. So let me uh, take a pause now, and we'll come back, and I will I, uh, play the other uh, um, Bach minuet. Thank you. I'm going to shut the door. Fine, thanks. Okay, I am back in my temporary studio with bad lighting. Behind me is the second minuet, and this is a uh, same size as the other one. This is the first one, the original one. And uh, this is uh, minuet to G major. Let me play it for you. Sweet, sounds good, don't it? This is the same style as the other one. I, this is where this is the first one. Like I said, first one I did on uh, loose canvas, doing the scratch technique. So I had a lot to learn on scratch technique, but. Uh, I did the same thing with my little ties here and beams and beams. Well, these are all beams on here. And um, I think it's pretty much, uh, the two pretty much work well together. So, there we have it. You have my uh, two uh, Bach minuets. They're going to be always on canvas. I'm not going to stretch this canvas. It's going to be this way. I like the magnet idea on frame. I think that works good. I like the modular boxes. I can create modular boxes so I can, you know, I'm in this temporary studio and I have this space to do stuff so I can just reuse the frames, put the canvas on, and create, create their own little boxes. You know, put the name on the box so we know what, who belongs to who, and there we go. And that's how we're going to do it for now. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it.